At first glance, both Terraform locals and Terraform variables look the same. Initially, it becomes quite confusing as when to use locals and when to use variables in the Terraform. This video explains in simple words as what's the difference between locals and variables in Terraform with example and demo. So let's get started. Let me go through a few of the examples for Terraform locals and Terraform variables. So first, let's see what exactly is the variable in Terraform. In this code, I'm declaring a simple AWS EC2 resource with the help of Terraform. In the first uh, in the first two lines, I'm just hard coding the Amy and instance type values. But in the next two, I am obtaining the value of key name and subnet ID from the variables. And I declare these variables in two files, which are variables.tf and terraform.tfs. Variables.tf is used to declare the variables. And terraform.tf where is where we give the values of those variables. So as you can see in this resource, both for EC2 key name and subnet ID, the values are being used from this file with a keyword of where dot. Okay, so let's run this code and see um, how it goes. Let me go to that directory and so let me go to variables example and I am running Terraform plan. So Terraform plan is checking it syntactically, uh, running Terraform validate behind the scene, fetching its state, making sure everything is in order. Okay, so there is no error here. So let's see what exactly is the value of key name here. Okay, so as you can see, the key name is variable Terra key. Now just quickly go back to our code and make sure that this is the value which we put. So that is correct. So this is what variable is in Terraform. Now see what exactly is the locals here. So let me go to locals file now. In the locals one, first thing we need to do is to define a locals block. And in locals block, we give some variables and their values, just like we did it the variables files. And then in our code, instead of using the where dot, we use local dot and we refer to both of these EC2 key name and subnet ID. And as you can see in this local example folder, I don't have any um, variables.tf or terraform.tf files, uh, files. So let's quickly run this and see how it goes. Let me go back to my CMD. Let me clear the screen and I will move to the locals example. And I am running Terraform plan. Again, it is doing some checking and validations. Okay, shouldn't take too long. Okay, so let's check what exactly is the key name now. As you can see, the key name has changed to local Terra key. And that is what we had defined in our locals block, locals Terra key in line number two. Okay, now um, you might be wondering that the way we have written this is different, but what exactly is the difference between these two? So let me open these files side by side and compare. So obviously there is a, as we have mentioned earlier, there is a difference in how we write both of these in the variables on the right hand side we are using where dot and these variables are defined and declared in two separate files whereas in the locals files we are defining a locals block in the same file and then using local dot keyword they are doing exactly the same thing so why do we need them and how to know when to use variables and when to use locals so let's check another example to clarify this concept. Let me shrink this and open this example. So 
in this example, what I have done is I have created a module. Modules are a reusable components in Terraform like any other, other language. In this one, I have created a module EC2. So if I go through this example of EC2 module, it is exactly the similar thing which we did in earlier example. I'm defining a EC2 resource in AWS instance. I'm giving it a local name, then two hard-coded values. And for the key name, I'm using the variable. And this variable is defined in variables.tf file. This is a variable name and I'm giving it a default value, which is local module over at Terra key. And so this is a module. And how do we use it in our code? If I go to this first EC2 example, uh, Terraform file, all I'm doing is I'm declaring a module. I'm just giving it my own user defined name. And then I'm giving the path to this module, modules EC2, the source command. So let me run it and see what happens. Let me clear the screen and change the folder to locals.module and let me run the terraform plan command. Okay, it takes a bit of a time. Okay, now let's see what is our value of key name in this case. So if I check here, the key name is locals module override Terra key. This is what we had given in our code. Let's quickly check. So if you go back to your module file and in variables, as you can see, we had given it a default value, locals modules override key. And this is what it has picked up. And now just try passing this variable value from our code instead of using the default value. So I'm using the dummy key here. Now let's run the Terraform plan again and see what happens. Okay, this is taking a bit of a time. Sorry for the delay, I think there has been some my system pros. Anyway, so it has come back, no error, so all is good. Now let's check what is the key value here. So as you can see, the key name has now changed to dummy key. Let's go back to our code and double check. Yes, that's what we passed it. Now you could immediately sense a problem here. Now, for example, if we are distributing this module, to hundreds of developers in our organization and we want them to use this standard EC2 module which has a standard key. But if we cannot prohibit users from overriding these parameters, this is where we use the locals feature of Terraform. Local feature of Terraform enables us to prohibit user from overriding these values. And let's see that in action. Let me comment this example, control KC. And this is a local example, which I had written earlier. In this example, if you see at the end, I am defining a locals block and I'm giving this EC2 key name, key name a value. And then simply I'm using this, um, locals here in my code, locals.ec2 key name. Now, when I use this, this will prohibit user from using the overriding this variable. So my value, locals value is locals module override, but let me save it. And, but I'm using, I'm overriding it in my code. So let's see whether Terraform overrides it or not. What we're expecting is that it won't override because that is what local is for. So let's go back to my terminal. Let me clear this again, Terraform plan. Yeah. 
So it is again validating the syntax and it has come back. Let's check the key value. So as you can see, Terraform hasn't allowed the user to override the value. So this is the basic and primary purpose of using the locals in the Terraform code. They are mainly used in the modules to make sure that no one would be able to override the variables. Now, um, there is another place where I have seen people using these um, locals where they do generate some complex variables, but um, that is not that common. So the primary purpose or the primary difference between both variables and the locals is that locals are mainly focused at modules and they enable us that user won't be able to override the uh, override those values plus variables are general purpose. Another um, difference which is very obvious is that variables have a global scope. They can be used anywhere, um, but uh, locals are module specific. I hope that helped. And if you have any questions, any feedback, please put them in the comments and thank you very much.